Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So, after my last fragrance knockout video, and amazing how you guys took that, I loved your guys' feedback, I loved how many of you guys were excited about those video, that video, and I'm extremely excited to continue the series. So, this time we're going to be doing Miss Nicki Minaj, which I feel like she is the most highest requested person I've seen after I posted the first one for you guys you know, wanting me to do someone else. Um, I do plan on doing this with almost everyone who has a larger collection, um, but depending on when releases happen and whatnot, like, the last time when we did Britney, I wanted to wait for Sunset Fantasy, like, once I knew Sunset Fantasy was coming and had a definitive date for it, I pushed back the start of it because I wanted Britney to be first. So, I know Nikki doesn't have a launch coming up anytime soon that I know of. So, I decided to do Nikki. Um, if she adds a new addition to her collection later on, I can always tell you guys where that lineup ends up in the lineup. But, we're gonna do the fragrance knockout for Miss Nicki Minaj and all of her fragrances. So, coming in at number eight, which may or may not be a surprise to you, depending where, you, I don't know, anyway, is the Pink Prince. So, I don't hate the pink print. This is actually a really, really nice fragrance. It reminds me a lot of Britney Spears' Maui Fantasy. And I know a lot of people say it reminds them of Jennifer Lopez's Miami Glow, which I could definitely see. All three of those fragrances have a very, very similar, like, fragrance type. And it's not one that's my favorite. Um, I don't hate it. Each one does have their own, like, interpretation of it and how it works on my skin. So for different situations, I go to a different one. Um, this just isn't my favorite out of her collection because I feel like she's got stronger contenders. So, in at number 8 is the Pink Print. Coming in at number 7 is Pink Friday Deluxe Edition. So, the idea of this was super, super cool because they took the original Pink Friday and rearranged it and moved the notes around and changed the intensity of the notes and whatnot. And I love that idea because I love just, like, how you can take two fragrances and put them right next to each other and say... These have the exact same notes, but they completely smell different. This one goes a little syrupy on my skin at times, and a little spicy, and I'm not a huge fan of that, just because I do like the little more fruitier scents and a little, like, lighter scents. And this is on the heavier side for her collection, um, and is just, it gets kind of heavy to me. That's just the main, the best thing I can say. With the stickiness and sometimes that spiciness, I'm not the biggest fan of this one, but it's still good. I still will wear this. It is a head turner, um, but I like using this one if I'm going out at night or whatever. Um, not that that happens very often. But if I'm going out or doing something, I like to wear this one just because it is kind of dark and it is very easy to wear. That's the good thing I like about Nikki's fragrances is all of them are very easy to wear and none of them clash on my skin. In at number six is Trini Girl. So... This one is super fruity, and it's got this really nice floral note, and it's got this really bright tropical vibe to it, and I really, really like this one. I just, it's not as well liked as some of the other ones. And this is where it got really hard, because I really, like, starting here, this is where I really like Nikki's collection. This is the more fruity scents. This is where we get where my fragrance family lies. I like Trinity Girl. Trinity Girl is a very, 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 very nicely made fragrance, and I like how it's paying homage to her um, home roots. So, in there is a Trinity Girl. In at number five is the original pink print, and oh my god, that did not want to focus on there. Miss Nicki Minaj's debut fragrance was the pink print, and I remember when this fragrance launched, I wanted everything for it. I still have a lot of stuff for it, but I love love, love this fragrance. It was one of the first celebrity fragrances I wanted to buy at counter. I waited and waited and waited, and I remember I got this, like, after Mother's Day, gift set, half price, and I bought it. I was like, done, getting it. I'm not waiting any longer, and I got the special edition at the same time, and I just, I love this fragrance. I just, it's such a good fragrance, and it was such a good debut for Nikki, that, and it did so well, too, so... In at number five was Pink Friday. Coming in next is Pink Friday Special Edition at number four. So, the reason I like this one more, it is lighter, it is airier, 
but it has this really really bright apple note in it and apple is just one of my favorite notes in fragrances and I love 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 it in fragrances so this having apple in it and I know this is a lighter interpretation of it it does not last as long as the original Pink Friday but this one's so good too the apple really sets it apart from the original Pink Friday and makes it its own fragrance um and I like the white hair on this one but the apple is really what made this one win over the original Pink Friday just because I love apple on me in at number three is Menajesty, the original Menajesty. This one is super good. It's super fruity, and it was the first bottle design change from the original Pink Friday in the, like, collection lineup, I guess. And I remember when this one first came out, we got the samples of it at work. Um, and it was, su like, super fruity when I first, 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 first smelled it. And I remember thinking, like, wow, I like how Nikki kept it somewhat similar to the original Pink Friday and just changed it. And what I mean by that is like it doesn't smell like the original Pink Friday, but they're both in that fruity family and it, they're both similar in the fruitiness than like how Trini Girl is in comparison. They're just more fruity, floral, easy, creamy fragrances and I really like that about that. But this one just has an edge to it that I like more than the original Pink Friday. Just because it is a little bit more fruity and a little more red berries. And it's just a great, great, great fragrance. And at number two is Onika. And this one, mm, it has some of the original notes that were in um, the like original Pink Friday. But they added some other ones and then they added the sugar note to it. And I love sugar. Love, 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 love sugar. I just smacked myself on the nose with that. But the sugar note in this makes it amazing and blends so well. And I love this in the summer because it, like, that sugar makes it so sweet and airy and just fruity. And I love this one. It's super, super good and was a definite good contender for number two. And at number one, if you haven't guessed it and you don't know me, is Menagerie Exotic. This fragrance... You guys, I have so many of this. I have this one, and then I've got five more full-size bottles up there with an empty bottle up there because I've already gone through one of these. I love this fragrance. I love the bottle. I love the hair. I love the box for this. I like how they included the little buckles on the box. I'm really sad that they never gave us like an official, official ad for this because I would have loved like a blonde bombshell Nikki ad. Love this fragrance. It's so good. It's just airy and it's easy to wear. And there's not a lot of fragrances out there like this. And it's super unique in its own category, but it's still fruity and tropical and has a lot of notes in it. Like, I'm not really a big orange fan normally. I'm not a big lavender fan normally. And there's something about the way that they're blended in this that I just freaking love it. It's such a good fragrance. And that's why, like, because of this fragrance is one of the reasons that, like, even if a fragrance has a note in it that I don't normally like, I will still give it a chance because it may not be as potent on me and I may like it a whole lot more than I thought I would. And that's how this was because I remember when the notes first came out, I was like, ooh, it's got orange and it's got lavender in it. I'm not a huge fan of that. But, mm, like, this is probably my all-time favorite fragrance if I had to choose one. It's just so freaking good. So... There you guys go. There is my fragrance snack out for Miss Nicki Minaj. I do plan, like I said, to do more like of the bigger collections. Let me know who you guys would like me to do next. Um, definitely could do like Katy Perry or Justin Bieber or Beyonce. Um, just give me your thoughts. Sound off in the comments section below and we'll figure out who we're going to do next. Maybe I'll throw a poll up on Instagram once I get a good amount of people giving me ideas. We'll see. Who knows? We'll see. You guys will get something. I don't know. Anyway, as always, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, ADS Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.